Alright, how's it going guys? We are at the Juicy Monthly um, for June. Um, we're about to get popping into Justice 2 here. Uh, I don't know if I have any commentators. Don't think I do, but if they do come on, um, I will um, let them be heard. Uh, other than that, this is probably going to be a no commentary um, video for the most part. Um, but yeah. Enjoy the show. I will have to correct names here real quick and the video. Uh, there we go. Alright.
awesome. They both work, all set. For live, they can hear me. <sighs> so what's the score? One zero, last laugh. Yeah, one zero, last laugh. It's funny because he knows this matchup as well. Because he plays, he plays my black item all the time. <laughs> yeah, I see it. He plays my black item all the time, so he should know the matchup. He might stick with last lap all the way through. He might stick with um, Starfire. Yeah, when I played him, he had a good Starfire. Let's see how uh, Blacky. I've never, I've seen Blacky use other characters. I've never seen his black item, so this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, he used, um, I think he used uh, Batman for one match. Yeah, he played with me Batman one match and then he changed back. All right, here we go. We got zoning versus Nooch. Last lap, he's zoning, black out. Back at him, needs to get out of that get from the end of the corner. He could just do that all Man, day. He's just eating him. Oh, he's got to respect that plus one. Right, this is the interactable. Black is oh, getting really three. aggressive. Oh. Need to burn back three to get out of that jump three. That was a good back three. Now he's got Starfire on the ground. This is where he's got to make the comeback. Oh, oh just affects the wake up. Last lap is very known to wake up with that hair whip. See, that's a, that's another common problem. D four, two, one, two always whips against Starfire <laughs> every single time. And our and the female hitbox. You already know. All right, so first health bar. Last lap takes. That cross up. Jump into dive kick is very useful. I never actually even knew about that tech, to be honest. All right, I go. Hurry up and adapt Full when screen. I that. Blacky doesn't want to be here. He's getting frustrated. You can see it. He's gonna hit every time. Oh, there anti air nice. dive kick. Nice anti air. Conversion. Oh, he's on top. Ooh, oh, Vita good. Burns his wake up. He knows he's waking up every time. If he has a bar, he will wake up. What's this mix? No mix. Oh, he misses the back too. Ooh, got some four, pussy. one, two, both <laughs> whiffs. <laughs> Damn. Low profile. I'd be extremely triggered. I, mm. My friend plays Cheetah, and any female hitbox, it, it just it it's, triggers me. Yeah. There goes Blackie's full screen. No. He's got again, and he's got two bars. He he's got a meter burn roll or something. Here. Dive kick. To, oh. Oh, he drops the combo. Oh, my Ooh. God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Blackie with a little... Meter burn, forward three. Little pregame pop-up, you know. Meter burn, forward three on the wake-up. This is a guarantee. That closes the last round. All right, one one. Oh, he tries to catch him with black magic, but he ended up staying in the air using her trait. Four two two. Ooh, oh, switches up command grab. That was smart. Oh, that was weird. He did stand three to get him, and this just went over his head. Blackie again getting frustrated by the zoning. He's just gotta, just gotta be a little bit, bit more patient. Oh, Ooh. good back three. This is some meaty damage here. Spends two bars, 400 day damage. Wake up again. Yeah. Wish the 4 2 2, no punish. Uh, Alright, first life bar gone. Let's see if Blackie makes a comeback like last time. Oh, he's, he's getting well, too desperate for the zoning, man. He's eating way too much damage. Need a burn roll to get inside, but he gets, ends up going right back to full screen. That meet a burn back good back he's had he's had a lot of good back threes he's just need to put himself in a more favorable position to not be you know full screen he's yeah. losing all of his life once you're in the corner of the map <coughs> oh unblockable injustice boys oh good with punish i'm not too sure if that was with punish actually could have just been pressing something oh he gets caught with the beam again oh oh no punish on the dive kick oh, oh. He's, he doesn't have much left to spare can he do it there's the corner set play. Here comes the mix. Oh. Drops it, and that's it. Wakes up with the hair whip to close the round. Starfire has a very strong wake-up game. Yeah. Multiple, multiple options. Um, here we go. Character select. Uh, Slap has to stay on Starfire. And Blackie has a choice here to make. Dark side. That's an interesting pick. I think Dark Side personally does well against zoners, even though he's a zoner himself. Mm -hmm. uh, like teleport is really good. Yeah, I guess he wants to try to counter the zoning a little bit with the teleport with the boom tube. We're trying to get out to get a little closer, a little faster. Oh, crosses up with the jump three. Meaty four three plus mm -hmm. frames. Have to hold that. Plus on the four three. Four two two immediately right after it. Mm. 
Oh, combo. he wanted right oh, there. Oh, he's going for some big damage. Oh, drops, he drops the combo. You can see he's dusting. He does a dust off his dark side. Yeah, you can tell he's, he's probably not used to playing dice right at the moment. Good teleport. Oh, good conversion. Dark side gets some big damage, man. Yeah. 360. Yeah, he hurts a lot. Oh, Ooh, cross play. up. Oh. That forward one is such a good tool on the jump three, even catching the back mm. dash. That's yeah, his back dash is a little weak. It's kind of slow in short distance. Oh, he was trying uh, to again. He's trying he to press trying buttons. To, trying to hit the read on the on the boom tube. <laughs> He's got to be a little bit more cautious of the teleports. It's a full combo every time if he reads it correctly. Interactable. Oh, he shuts oh, down. Caught him pressing a button. Shuts, shuts down the, the trait. In Starfire's favor, he's gonna get the health back. You do not want to have the health lead fighting Starfire. She's oh, gonna. He's, he's going for trades here. Oh, he's starting to win the zone. It switches up with teleport. Back three. Holds the plus frames this time. Backs off. Good whip oh, punish. Forward two two again. Oh, ducks oh, come in grab. That's nice. Oh, the four three. This is big. Oh, mm. he can't. He's leaving so much damage Armors on the, the table. One. Oh. oh, this is getting so close. Stand three into. That had to be an oh, input error. He had a bar. Oh, oh my up. god. He has clash, but he has no meter. Oh, oh my god. He gets hit. Oh, he has to oh my god. one good combo and it's, it's over One here. touch. Oh, and that's it. Last laugh. He gets the last laugh. Last laugh. <laughs> he wins. I think 3-1. So I think I'm up next, so I will leave the commentary to you. All right, Chris Queens and last laugh. Last laugh. Staying on stream. Clutching it out. All right, this time Blast I'll join you. We got Blackie joining us. The one time I ducked the, th the tick throw. The one time. <laughs> I feel like he was probably waiting for that teleport. Then that's probably why he stopped zoning for a second. Yeah, I needed the um, the Starfire matchup is definitely um, one of those things. Like I wanted to break free from his trait because if I wanted to uh, if I wanted to get in with Black Adam, right, I'd have to zone him out with Black Magic. But it's so way easy to punish with um, with Starfire's uh, burst and also her trait. So mm -hmm. I had to switch over to Dark Side since I thought that was a better pick um, for the matchup. And yeah, that's probably like, give him a slight advantage. Give me a slight like advantage. the whole meta. It's either like dive kick, but then if he does the beam, you're gonna get hit. Exactly. But if he zones with like the single shot, you he'll, he'll get hit. Exactly. So it was either take chip damage or at least avoid as much damage as possible for me, because um, like for example, like for the first part of the uh, Black Adam. For, for, for the first part of the set, when I was using Black Adam, I was trying to do the far kick so I could avoid as much trait time as possible when he was utilizing it mm -hmm. in order to avoid it, but then still be able to take um, a little bit of damage, but not as much as I would have with, if he did meter burn chip at the end. So, um, but you know, made, I made the adjustments I could have with Black Adam, but like honestly, Starfire's full screen game is just way too strong for Black Adam in my opinion. So I think that she edges out that matchup like six four, yeah. just barely, but yeah, it's. It's um, it's definitely. And a then that stupid, and then the star does from full screen. Yeah, controlling the, the field and also being able to um to make it difficult to establish neutral is definitely one thing to consider mm -hmm. too. Ooh. So uh, I don't know if they're hopping right into it or if this yeah, is. Yeah, I think they're check. hopping into it since they went for the handshake already. So Chris Cleans definitely one of those guys oh, that um nice. has been playing for a minute. Uh, nice place. 500 damage one. <laughs> yeah, no, go ahead, go ahead. 500 damage, yeah. No, his, his Superman is strong. Like, his the entire his knowledge with the entire cast is absolutely fantastic. Um, um, definitely a player that um, I Ooh. hope he goes to more competitive tournaments in terms of, like, CEO or, like, combo breaker or stuff like that. But, I mean, he's definitely got the knowledge for it. Yeah, he definitely does. And this is going to be, like, a nice air-to-air -air game with the leaping and then Batman air dashing. Absolutely. So it's up to Chris in order to at least control Ooh. the lasers with the uh, with um, down back one on the, in the air and try to control the control the jump cancels and then also being able to try to at least be able to um, try to, to see try to avoid that and um, try, try to avoid the gown green try to take it to the air because if he takes it to the air oh. he, Superman might have the advantage. That was really crazy. Down one into into Devil's revolver and it broke the armor. Yes, sir. And I've never seen that. Nice throw there by Chris Cleans. I think that'll do it for the first round. <laughs> and last lap's Hellboy is definitely there. Um, the thing is, though, I think his Adam will probably do him a little bit more Ooh. justice. No pun intended. <laughs> but um, nice job there of using the revolver in order to control um, Chris Cleans in the air. Oh, nice air to air. Ooh. Cross up in the corner. Didn't see it coming. Reset. 
I thought he was going to go just keep on dive bombing until he blocked it correctly. Because, you know, you can do that. <laughs> I yeah. did 15 on one dude in tournament one time. It was really bad. I was like, I'm sorry, dude. But, like, if you didn't block it right. Then <laughs> <laughs> they got to know the right direction. Yes, sir. Nice launcher. No conversion, though. Oh. Oh. Great job. Great job using the uh, the lasers there to control the armor. Oh, it's no. facing. No whiff punish. Oh, he has the armor now. Now he's yeah. going to try to work his way in. Six hits, boys. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is probably the game right here. Nope. Not yet. He dropped it, though. No, all right. Good. Good, good job. Of Chris cleans there and using the lasers to clean things up there. That's the thing you have to be careful. You can't always wake up leap because if once they do air laser, you're gonna it's finished. You yeah, gotta you leap in the laser. <laughs> yeah, and even so, like even if you canceled it, right? You, you have to you have to be careful of where you land because you can also, um, in some cases, uh, if you recover fast enough, you might be able to do a dive bomb after. Mm -hmm. They do a super. They do it Four, two, three, and the cancel drops it though. Ooh, last lap trying to go for that low down three in order to get a little sweep going action, sweep action going on there. Ooh, I thought he had the conversion. That would have been nice if he got it. No Trying one. to mix them up. The double sweep. I don't blame him, but he's not Gorilla Grodd, though. He needs that secret sweep in order to make it a true mix-up. That extra long back back three. Yes, sir. Well, this is like a back... Oh. This is like a back and forth, jumping back and forward thing over here going on. Yeah, man. It's, it's basically whoever controls the air controls the entire match. Oh, no punish on that. It's like Ooh, negative eight. Ooh, nice shimmy there. Oh, oh, he wanted to go for the for the pack for the bounce cancel. Oh, he didn't respect the frame data. He got hit by the by that eight frame mid. Oh, let's see how long. Pretty much even across the board here. Honestly, just oh, nice nice leap in in order to just oh, finish yeah. try to get in there and get in this grill. Just land one more of those. Ooh. Didn't respect the wake up. Jump in sweep to end it. Yeah, jump in cancel sweep. Uh, honestly, like a really good, really good job of last Ivan to just be w aware of what's going on and be able to just cancel into the sweep there. I'm surprised um, last Laugh hasn't used the uh, the fist of doom, the the air grab to get him when he dashes. Yeah, for sure. Like uh, because honestly, if you if you're oh, able no. to control the air game with with the with the hand of God, like it's it's pretty much a wrap. Yeah, definitely. But one thing too to note is that um, Chris Cleans needs to control needs to be able to um, remember that four two th like four two three. In the trade cancel, like you can do it twice, and he, and he, for some reason, he's just going for the standing three. Um, he's trying to be optimal, but like it's better to be safe than sorry in this matchup. Yeah, definitely. Especially when you're battling for for at least a top spot in the grand finals. Hellboy oh with the defense, the defense trade to protect them from the damage. Ooh, yeah, for sure. Blocks the cross up. Oh, he stuffs his one three. down one, but nothing doing there. Frost Ooh. air. Ooh, meter burn. Oh, Ooh, he's still alive. Yes, sir. And the pressure. Pressure. Chris cleans up 2 0. Man, maybe the sun is in his face. I don't know if he can see. Yeah. <laughs> is the sun in your face? Oh, snap. All right, hold on. Come on go, go, to, um, go to character select. Having a hard time seeing the screen here. With the with the sun being out. Gonna try to get a nice view. You know, get the, we're trying to get the shady view, so everybody can play play in peace. <coughs> the investor scene wasn't that big today. About eight entrants. Eight. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Alrighty. Match point for Chris Cleans. Yes, sir. What do you think um, Last Lap should do in order to adjust in this matchup? I think he should start doing the up revolver a little bit more. Mainly control his air control. Control what, what the Superman does in the air if he air dashes or if he jumps forward. 
So like, like that situation, he does that a lot. Trying to cross him up. And we got the launcher by Chris Cleans. Are we going Ooh, for the OTG? Blocks, blocks nice. the mix up. Yes, Tries sir. to cross him back up in the corner. Oh, four, two, knows three. that's a punish. Oh, he's trying to do he's trying to do um Theo's thing with standing three. He's just not timing it right. Nice launch. Oh, anti air grabbed him right out of the air. Unblockable. Oh, see that right, that opportunity right there definitely could have gone for the hand of God. Yeah, definitely would have probably closed the match for sure. He doesn't. He did actually. He didn't have any meters, so he, even though he would have been, um, he would have been able to get the um, the space control though. For yeah, sure. definitely. Space control, would, uh, corner control would have definitely been in his favor there. Oh, oh, jumping didn't hit confirm. <laughs> Could definitely go for a little bit more um, revolvers as well. Yeah, up revolver definitely would help a lot more. Absolutely, even so out this match. Keep him bit. from zoning from full screen in the air as well. Yeah. Granted, it may not last as long as laser, but it's still just as fast, if yeah. not faster. Ooh, nice shimmy in the air. We got, we got air shimmy battles. Ooh, down one. Oh, no dash. punish on the on the air air dash. Well, these guys just trying to be patient as possible. Oh, he did a slow move. That move was too slow. Oh, he thought he was going to jump, so he did the hand of God on wake up. <laughs> All righty. Both they, of these they, guys spending two bars. I respect it. Right there, air revolver needs to stop him. He's doing the straight one to keep him on the ground. Oh, there yeah, we nice, go, nice, nice one. Nice call out with the air revolver. revolver see, there. like, oh. see, he could be, he could have done that. He, that would have been Superman's main problem, trying to get in. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yes, I guess sir. To, I guess he and tried the armor. That's a clean three zero. I'm not sure if he tried the armor or if he tried to use the the revival trait. I, yeah, I think I think um, he thought that the armor would probably mitigate some of the damage, but unfortunately it didn't work out for him there. So the revival would definitely have been a better option. And I think you're up next. Okay. Yes, let's sir. Let's see who's up. The run back. <laughs> the juicy run back. It's going to be grand finals. Ooh, boy. All right, so we got Chris Cleans, and we also have God's Second Disciple going at it. Uh, honestly, um, both these guys uh, doing very, really, 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 really well in this tournament, man. Uh, fantastic players all around, uh, and I played it. I've had the privilege of playing both of them. Uh, both of them have really good knowledge. Uh, fantastic, uh, just fan just fantastic buttons overall in terms of like not no their knowledge in terms of like the characters and. Uh, the amount of stuff that they, the amount of work that they put in, like it shows through their play. And so I really hope that uh, both these guys are able to compete more, go out more, and have fun uh, to play in this game, man. Because honestly, like Injustice 2 is definitely one of those uh, games that has a lot of uh, hidden gems. Florida, the sun is out and it is shining. Red Hood versus ver wow versus Doctor Fate, and these guys are going straight at it. Oh, it's just a two button check. Okay. Let's get a game one of grand finals here. Got second disciple in winner's side and and Chris Cleans in losers. This matchup right here, definitely an interesting one. Um, I think Dr. Fate has the advantage in terms of being able to control the entire screen. However, uh, Red Hood, once he gets in and, and is able to get the, some of the nasty setups that he has with the uh, with the low mine into four three, uh, you, you're pretty much set. Once he's in, he's in, and he can he can capitalize on a good amount of damage. Oh, 
Nice setup there. I got second disciple. Chris Cleans just trying to control the entire space. But he has to figure out an answer for Red Hood. Because Red Hood's leap, uh, the mine, air guns, uh, also the shuriken, or, a or a red stars as we like to call them, uh, honestly can, can control so much space. Really well done. Oh, and nice job. Like, both these guys are just trying to control, establish their own neutral. And unfortunately, like, you have to block, block low, <laughs> scooch in, block low, scooch in. And depending on the character you're going against, right, you might be eating a ton of chip damage. So, for example, like, uh, with Red Hood, if you have low mine, you're going to eat a good amount of chip damage. I think at least 30 points worth of chip damage. And then you also have the trait, which I also completely forgot about, the, uh, the taser guns, like, once, once you get, the, you get a significant amount of tray right there and already, like, um, got to second disciple, just doing a really, really good job of just being able to take advantage of that. Ninja stars into leap. This man is on a roll, and then he calls out the forward dash with trait gun. Trait shot. The man is reading it like a book. Said, I don't care if you read Harry Potter, bro. I'm gonna have to dive in on this and just finish it right up. Chris Clean's hovering over that Superman. Honestly, uh, he has the Superman. I know he also has a Green Lantern. Oh, and Chris Clean's trying to go for that rising grab. I'm surprised he didn't get as punished as hard as he did there, but got second disciple. Nice setup. Gets the bait. Setup, nothing new. Just an outrageous amount of chip. Four, two, three. Got the second disciple, tries to punish it, and Chris Clean drops it, man. I don't know what he's trying to go for. I think he should just go for the four, two, three. Like, just go for it again. Don't try to do anything, you know, crazy. If you're able to go for a basic B and B, just do it. Because otherwise, you put yourself in a position where you know, like, oh well, could have been doing this, but yeah, he's going for he's going for the for the bounce cancel in order to get more damage. But honestly, it's not working out for him, and he's he's dropping the combos. Got to make sure that when it comes to these things, like especially in major tournaments, when you try not to drop them. Got second disciple trying to go in again. Drops the setup, but he's able to. He still has the advantage in terms of being able to get the hard knockdown. Air guns, down one battles. Chris Clean's trying to jump in, but got second disciple doing a really good job of using air guns and also double back three in order to make sure he doesn't clash or air escape. Ooh, the call out with the ninja stars. Trying to go for the grimy setup of the overhead low. And no. Woo, what a whiff by Chris Cleans. Nice air block. Nice uh, block. Nice push block, but unfortunately nothing doing there. And got second disciple. Up two games, nothing. And Chris Cleans not taking a second, just running right back in. He thinks he sees something, but I'm not sure what he does. Nice block on the overhead there. Push. Yes, sir. Into back three. Yep. Oh, and he drops it again. 355 damage. Could have been 400. Alrighty, and got second disciple with the setup, forcing Chris Cleans to go in the air, and then just sends him with another set of ninja stars when he gets back down. Really, honestly, really great mind games. The down two. No conversion, though. Nice throw by Chris Cleans in order to get him in the corner. The parry? Whose man's is this? Ooh, thought he had a call out there. Ah, finally gets a standing three into the into the uh, nice little windy, cold, windy, uh, windy breath. My man's got a nice, nice pack of Altoids. Leap meter burn leap gets thrown back. Good, 
good call out by Chris Queenser with the throw in order to punish it. Just enough for Nord to finish the round as well. And now the footsies. Ooh, back one laser in order to try to reset it. But guys are going to cycle with the leap in order to avoid any low projectile. Uh, Chris Clean's trying to go for the standing three again, but he doesn't have the range for it. And the trait cancel into the throw. What's next? Another throw. And the meter burn back three, but then gets canceled out by the air, by the leap into air guns. Really smart decision there by God's second disciple to spend the, that bar. Down one battle. Chip damage. Ooh, I thought there was going to be a down two there by God's second disciple, but doesn't get it. What we been? It's a tie. Let's go. And the power up. All right, Chris Queens. What we doing? The meter burn roll, down one into breath. Chris Queens, puts him, Chris Queens puts himself on the board with one game, two to one right now in the first set of grand finals. So really good adjustment by Chris Queens. Um, I think he's probably going for the standing three into into the uh, into super punch. Oh, goes for the cancel on the four three setup. I I like it. Nice down two setup. Yes, sir, in the back three. It's going to scale a lot, though, but he's going to get the setup. I like God's Second Disciple's usage of the 4 3 cancel. Oh, nice conversion into the Ninja Stars there. Leap in order to apply pressure, but doesn't get it. All right, Chris Clean's trying to control the airspace there. See, and, that, and that's so difficult. Um, if, when, when Red Hood is able to put the ground bomb and then he's able to get the distance just right when it comes to uh, timing up the air guns like it's he's in for a blast and it's an overhead low so there's good luck blocking that tries to go for the throw there but unfortunately the mind breaks it up Woo baited the parry and he drops the combo again Chris cleans he's got to figure out something he, he needs he needs some help here it's final point right now for God's the second disciple Wow, wow, and the call out into the throw. The back three. Both of these guys spending meter like no tomorrow. They are on a shopping spree. Just spending it, spending it, spending it. Nice duck. Another set of air lasers by Chris Cleans. He can do it. This is gonna be a long road. Nice job of being able to finish that. Now, now they're both on red. And Chris Cleans with two bars a meter. Both these guys do have trait. Nice conversion. What's the setup? Nope. Drops a combo. But he gets the back one into Frostbeth. Ooh. Wow. And God's second disciple. Closing it out and winning the tournament 3-1 at Red Hood. It's pretty nasty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We're going to take a little, little break. Going to hit up with this next game here. And we'll see what's going on. See y'all soon. Yep. God's second assignment.